Howdy, Rusty boys and girls. Welcome to the Rust Power Minute, where I have 60 seconds to teach you everything you need to know about a given Rust component. Coming at you every day until we're done. Still working on power sources? Today we're having a good look at the small generator. Troublesome to find these boys, but simple enough to purchase them from the outpost. Rather cheap, bit like your mum. Only 125 scrap to buy and an extra 75 to research. These lucky little generators get to live indoors, making them safe from unsavory nakeds and gentlemen raiders. They're pretty petite so you can tuck them into some fairly cozy spots. Since face punch is making it harder by the patch to run power down into caves, they're the most reliable source of power for cave bases. They put out 40 power each, but the cost is steep, We're looking at 250 low grade per hour, with no very variation in generation compared to use. It burns for 40, and nothing less, so put it to work. It's best to think of them as a burst of temporary power. You might only have two solar panels on the roof, but you can have as many of these inside as you like. Connect them to a trigger, powering raid defenses, or whatever you fancy. It's this functionality alone that makes them worthwhile. Alongside a standard power out port, it features a separate on and off switch. And for those who don't know, the pressure pad doesn't necessarily have to be powered to activate a generator. Handy little thing for setting up internal security. These videos are good fun to make, so I'm going to keep making them. If there's a particular circuit you want to see, leave a comment or visit the Discord. The Discord's alright, some pretty cool people on there. Well, look, a couple of cool people. A few too many of those clingy types that just hang around, you know? There's this guy called Atlantis. Throws bottles of chicks' faces.